So, are you texting this early in the morning, huh? No one. I know that look. <laughs> Should I make her one too? I think she'll be okay. Uh, tell your girlfriend that I said hello. What do you mean, we? This is not your problem. Don't be like that, okay? Like what? I am trying to figure it out. What do you want to know exactly? You were nothing like him. Okay, nothing. They said they could take care of it, but it would need to be soon. How much? Uh, first of all, uh, Parker, Vivan, and Tony, thank you for your time. Thank you for the interview. Uh, awesome movie, really personal, really emotional story. I know that everybody, a lot of people don't relate to it because to me it seems, everything seems really real. And before diving into the whole, the two stars of the, and the, the movie, I really wanna to talk to Tony first about the story, how the story came about. Is, is, is it, I mean, it, it, was a, it was a story, it's been so personal. Was it inspiration from, from something, you know, sort of personal experience or somebody close to you? How did the story came about, Tony? Yeah, so, the story is extremely personal. Um, I mean, it. I basically the the start for the film started with um, you know me wanting to make uh, you know a scene of the last time I saw my dad. Um, so the memory that we show in the film um, at the arcade is what I remember as a kid. Um, so you know, going into that and just kind of having that as a starting point. I started looking at other, you know, moments from my childhood that I felt were important um, for, you know, a coming of age story, um, going into, you know, what it means to be a man and grow up, you know, as a teenager in Florida. So, you know, you said, you know, a lot of real and, you know, authentic things and themes were brought into this film and that's you know that was the point that uh, that's what I wanted to capture and what I wanted to present um I'm gonna jump into Parker and Diva now I mean Parker you're you mean you're, you both of your performance are really amazing but I I still I, I still think that Parker just threw out the part obviously your character is basically all over the from beginning to end from the movie when you when the two of you saw the script saw the, the story you know it's, it was it's so personal you know, what was your first reaction? How did the two of you reacted to, okay, what I'm getting into? Maybe Parker first. Sure. Uh, well, thank you. I want to say for having us. <clears throat> like Tony said, uh, upon seeing the script, my first two thoughts are this is authentic. It's an authentic story. It's what real people go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's intimate. It's a direct look into the life of someone who's going through that situation. So for me, knowing that a lot of it was based off Tony's last, you know, experience with his dad and everything, it was a little bit nerve wracking at first. And then from there, it just became myself and I'm sure Devin as well, really wanting to, to put ourselves in the shoes of those characters. Um, going through something that a lot of people only think about and never really experience, you know, um, if you're not put into that situation, you can only imagine what it's like. Yeah, I'm always interested in um, a slice of life story. And I think especially with something like this, when it's told with such care and respect and obviously a personal connection, um, like Tony has to it, um, I think it can be um, an exciting way, yeah, to tell a story. and. I was obviously interested in the relationship between Sam and Anna and they and the care, the genuine care and respect that they have for each other and they're obviously going through a difficult moment and I think it's fun to see these two people um, deal with the same event in in very different ways um, and still find their way back to each other so. Going back to 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 uh, Parker and, and the the one, uh, talking about Anna and Sam, you know, did you see something? Uh, this is really, really personal. But did you see some? some did you saw something of of, the, of your characters in yourself? You know, did you pick up something? Was, was there something characteristic? Was there something specifically of the characters that you you like you related to the character in some way? Yeah, for me, it's 
um, kind of the way that both Sam and I personally go about dealing with adversity. It's kind of just the processing phase. And I saw a lot of that <clears throat> in myself as well, just kind of taking things as they come and figuring out what to do from there. And like Devin said, Sam and Anna had completely different ways of dealing with the situation. Um, so I see a little bit of myself in that, in the processing, the dealing with adversity type. And also uh, on a more basic level, the skateboarding. I enjoyed skateboarding when I was in high school. Um, I had talked with Tony about that prior to filming. And it was fun to kind of get back in the skate park. And that was a little bit of a slice from my past that kind of got to be shown in the film as well. Yeah, I definitely see a lot of myself um, in Anna. I think um, she possesses a maturity that I definitely think that I had in high school um, <laughs> and a warmth and a playfulness. And yeah, as much as I enjoy um, a show like Euphoria or something like that, that's that was not my high school experience. <laughs> and so, yeah, this was fun to just tap into um, yeah, a story that has a character that's a little more reserved and grounded, uh, yeah, like I was in those years, so. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Anna, and I, I want to give any spoilers, obviously, but Anna has a big decision to make in her life in the story. Um, how would you personally react to the situation? You personally, well, without giving too much away, obviously, Demon. Um, yeah, sure. I, uh, yeah, I think having a conversation with um, your partner and looking at all your options, they're given like the space and the time and the opportunity to do that in this film, which not everybody has. But yeah, I definitely think, um, especially the point where she, Anna comes to Sam's house and she says, look, I, I can see that you're not able to handle this right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and step away. And I think that we need to just call pause on this and I'm going to go figure out how I'm going to handle this. Like that's very much me. So <laughs> we're going to go back, back to Sam now, Parker. Sam in the movie is dealing with a lot of things. It's not just one thing that he's dealing. He wants to, you know, make, make good for for mom and 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 you know when I went over to my dad, there's a lot of stuff going on in 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 the in the with character. How did you prepare yourself when you saw the script and that character and all the things, all the things that were going? What what how did you prepare yourself mentally for it? So I took that kind of on a scene by scene basis, day by day, um, having to prepare myself for what we were attacking at any given moment. Um, you mentioned the relationship that Sam has with his mom, and I was able to relate that. I have a great relationship with my mom, and she's been there for me in a lot of my difficult times as well. So attaching that to things that I have been through in the past and kind of taking the personality that Sam has on the page and with Tony's help, you know, really putting life into those words. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, this one's going to be an open question for the three of you, and, and taking into consideration that the story is so personal, and there, are those there were a lot of difficult you know, situations that each of you have to handle, which one, uh, Tony, first, uh, you consider was the most, you know, we're filming, with, which, which situation was the most, you know, tough, you know, just because of the emotions that they're going around, Tony? Um, so specifically in the story and script, um, thinking back, I would probably say, um, I think the toughest scene would have been the makeup scene at the end. Um, you know, it's a big scene. It's between them. We, we had a couple different endings in store and, you know, Devin and Parker were so great with adapting and we just wanted to make that so real. And, you know, so, um, you know, meaningful, um, you know, both of them during that scene, there's a lot of changes, a lot of things happening on the fly with our location. Um, I think specifically that location we had drop out like a week before. So that was a new location that we had like gotten the week prior to filming. And we kind of just, you know, took it from there. So there's a lot of things changing on the fly and those two just 
made that scene pop. And, you know, you can't have, um, you know, you can have a good movie, but everybody always remembers the end. And so for me, that was the most pressure to deliver. Parker, you next. For me, I would say, I would look at this question from an emotional standpoint. And I would mm -hmm. say, in terms of difficulty, coming back from, um, not to give too much away, but coming back from seeing my dad and meeting him and going back into the house and basically just breaking down to, mm -hmm. to Sam's mom, uh, to Julia, and just really getting that gut reaction and letting her know like from the bottom of Sam's heart that she was right all along. And there's some things that Sam did previously in the movie that no, no child should ever say or do to his mom. And to have that complete reversal and realize that she was completely right the whole time and she wanted nothing for the, but the best for me, uh, I would say that was, that was the most difficult scene that we filmed. Uh, and the environment in the, on the whole set was very, very quiet, uh, a bit emotional at times. So from an emotional standpoint, I would say that was probably the most difficult. Diva. Um, yeah, I think maybe uh, when Sam and Anna are at the house party and then they end up in the front yard and Sam is having a bit of a moment um, that, you know, Parker was really trying to prepare and get in that headspace, and I'm trying to, um, yeah, be in the moment and be able to react honestly off of him and also trying not to think too much about how me, um, as more of a grown woman, would react to this, this boy yelling in my face. And um, yeah, just being truthful to that story. And I think that that night in that location, we had some other drama, some real life <laughs> drama going on across the street. It was just a whole thing. So I'm glad that we made it through that night. A lot of Christmas lights. <laughs> um, one final question, and typically this is my toughest. They always say this is my toughest, but I tend to end, I tend to end my interviews this way just because I, I wanted to give, give the movie a little more context on what people you know, can expect and want to take away from it. So that's it. Um, open question for the three of you, uh, and starting with Tony, what did you expect or do you want people to take away from the movie once they see it? Because I know they're going to see it because of the per how personal it is. Yeah, so, um, you know, I just want some of, you know, the audience to be able to relate to something in the film. There's a lot of different storylines and characters, and um, like you were saying earlier, there's a lot of different kind of like emotional things happening so whether it's you know a young couple going through kind of the same thing right now or it's you know it doesn't even have to be a couple it can be you know teen boy teen girl or you know maybe just you know a mom looking at her son and like you know looking at it from that perspective it's an inside look at you know these characters and I think you know we try to keep it real and relatable so it does appeal to a wide audience. And I think that is one of the strong points in the film that people will be able to see a little bit of themselves somewhere in the film. Demon. Um, I think there's two things. I think I really love the idea in this movie that we have this young male protagonist who is so obsessed with this idea of masculinity and what it means to be a man and what it means to be a father and is chasing after this um, this sort of ghost of this father figure and is so obsessed and is convinced that that's what's going to help him unlock it. And really it's all the women around him. Um, Anna, his mom, his sister, his sister's mother. Um, and I also think it's a big deal that we have a movie and, you know, not all young people are afforded this privilege and this opportunity and this time, but um, we have two young characters who are dealing with this very stressful, potentially life-changing event, and they're sitting in the car talking about it, and she says, what do you want to do? And we have a male character who says, I want to do whatever you want to do. And the idea that he is there for her and going to support her, but ultimately leaves it in her hands, I think is a really important idea. That was really good. Parker. Take it away. <laughs> sure. For me, what I want 
personally for people to take away from this film. And it sounds a tag cliche, but it's not about the things that happen to you, but it's rather about how you respond to them. And in this movie, every single character has their own issues that they're dealing with, and they all deal with them in very unique ways. Sam, for example, is flustered and like, like Devin said, has this grand idea that one person, one singularity will be the answer to all of his problems. Uh, for, Devin, or for Devin, for Anna, her character, she processes things. She takes a step back and looks at it as a big picture. Um, for my mom in the film, she, she's looking just for a way to raise her son properly and make sure that, they, that their relationship isn't tarnished because of the things that he may be going through. So for people to be able to watch this film and recognize similar issues, even if not exactly the same, that they're experiencing in their own life and realize that once you change your perspective on something, you can come to a conclusion, you can come to a solution and you can make the bad situations in your life a little bit better just by changing your perspective. I think I, think, I agree with all of you. I think that the, to me, everything, the whole movie struck out, you know, uh, talk to the core with me. I, 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 I was afraid by my, my mother. I didn't have a father figure, a real father figure in my life. So I think that's one of the things I just threw out and, you know, talk, talk with me with the, with the story. But again, I, I don't want to forget that the, the three of you, uh, again, Parker and, and the one crazy performances and, and Tony, awesome story, really relatable. I know, I know everybody's going to love it and the people are going to talk to about it and, and, and relate to it. And, and, it's gonna be there for the end of times, and I'm I'm pretty sure people are gonna come out to come back to it. So congratulate the three of you on a, a really awesome story, and thank you again for your time and the interview. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you.